Roland Cox in Santa Monica with uh, Shoe Bomb oh, Coil. Cool, yeah, yeah. And there will be a debate today at the library here in Santa Monica. Shoe Bomb is the youngest governor candidate, uh, probably in California's history at least. I think so. I'm not sure because there's not a lot of records, you know, going back then. But, uh -huh. yeah, I know for this race I'm the youngest candidate at 22. It's been a fun time. Now, how does a 22-year-old person run for governor? Well, the process is actually pretty simple. For California, the laws are you need to be 18 or older. You have to get 65 signatures, and then you have to pay the filing fee of 4000 So I just did it, and I'm on it now. That's, aw that's awesome. Okay, yeah. so when you do a, a, a debate, like you were called you were called up impromptu at the debate in Santa, in Santa Clara. Yeah, yeah. That was amazing. What, what was that like? I mean, that was totally impromptu. Well, I mean... You know, sitting actually right next to you there, it was very scary just because, like, not scary, but the thing is, you know, I tried so hard with those moderators last time to let me speak because I think debate should be open to everyone, right? Uh -huh. Not just the select few because if you base it on polling, you're basing it on people who have the most money, the most fame. So just the fact, like, you know, I asked her, like, five times in the debate, and, you know, obviously there was a little resistance. I knew at the end I'm getting up there no matter uh -huh. what. So I was a little nervous, but I was more amped to get it done, you know? Have you been in any other maybe smaller scale debates in this campaign? Trying to no, I mean just failed attempts at getting in debates. I actually uh. I tried at the Asian Pacific American debate in Pasadena, and then I tried at the um, NBC debate in downtown San Jose. But the third time was the charm. And you will be out there today, though, right? Yes, I will. Be I believe so. Yeah, I'll be at the one today. Is, when you're asked a question, and I. I think the the kind of like <clears throat> stereotype people have of debates is back and forth, and it's not, I guess it's not really that from what I saw in San Jose. It's like a question, and everyone has their own answer. Yeah, that's actually a good point. I mean, it doesn't seem like it seems like the way they organize it, they don't give any time for like cross examination or arguments. So yeah, it definitely feels like people are just you know stating their platforms and how they would solve it. But that would be cool to see more back and forth. And I think maybe the, the last question is, uh, when you're in a debate situation, uh, or when you're, like right now, you're preparing for, what kind of preparation do you do, or is there any, is yeah, yeah. it basically you have a certain set of issues and you know what you're going to say ahead of time? Or? Yeah, well, I think, especially like when you run and everything, you have core beliefs among everything you try to stick to towards the end. You believe it, right? And you try to have your top feasible platforms. With a debate like this, I don't try to think too hard, because if you have the answers already pre-examined, it just doesn't come off you know, like your authentic self. So I try not to prepare, just stick to what I, you know, my beliefs and let it roll. <laughs> I think that is so true. I think you yeah. can over prepare and it kind of yeah, yeah. kind of like an off the wall example. When I was in college, um, it was back in the days of, of baseball, the Giants, Willie Mays, you know, and the thing that impressed me about him is that, that when he was on deck ready to come to a big yeah, yeah. at bat he's on his knees he's not swinging the bat he's totally ready yeah, yeah so i kind of adopted that in my college and i'm thinking rather than drive myself crazy before a test cramming yeah, yeah. and all that mm -hmm. get the studying done ahead sit there and totally not even think about anything yeah, before yeah. the test mm -hmm. and then come in there and just do it yeah no i completely agree i mean there have been times with like you know tests or interviews i would over prepare right. and then during it my brain is like fried i have no idea what's happening you know so that's what the way i like i like to stick by like you know the common knowledge i have and the core beliefs and then just let it flow naturally well i i, I think you're totally an inspiration to california to, oh, to young people you. old yeah. people as well oh thank you i really appreciate it yeah i mean i'm just trying to show people that you know the everyday person can run you know wherever you come from whatever your fame wealth political situation is whatever your societal position is you know you can make my, a difference uh, my slogan is actually the gold rush like in the 1800s california was abundant with the gold rush so much prosperity people loved coming here so that's my slogan with me as governor we will go back to the gold rush an age of prosperity yeah thank you those those hats are awesome totally oh, awesome so much. i'll get you guys some also all right totally awesome well this is roland yeah. cox with shoe bomb Coil. Coil, yeah. yeah. How do you say? K-O-E-L. That's right. G -O.